What's up guys? Retro Gamer Steve back with another video and tonight's video is a pretty good pickups video in my opinion. Um, quite a, a good bit of stuff and a large variety. Um, I'm pretty happy with this week's pickups for sure so um, without any further ado guys let's check out what I got. Alright guys so to start off this pickups video um, I do collect the small uh, two and a half or three inch jack figures and I picked up a uh, two new ones that I did not have and the first one is blue Yoshi light blue Yoshi so I don't collect all of these but I collect the ones that I really like because for every non Mario character they come out with they have like five or six Mario's so I don't I don't get all of the Mario's and then the other one I picked up is bone piranha plant I believe yeah bone piranha plant so I do have the other piranha plant but I thought this one looked pretty cool so I picked him up as well all right then uh, my buddy Zach from Iowa Retro Gamer Dad sent me a couple of small um, arcade cabinets uh, last week for my birthday. And um, I already had a Pac-Man one, so I saw this the other day for $5 brand new and decided to add it to the collection. So now I can add Joust. So now I have four of these all different uh, games. But um, these things are actually pretty cool. So I had to pick that up. Then at one of my local stores, um, game stores, I picked up a regular uh, Dreamcast VMU. Um, unfortunately, it does not have the top cover piece, but uh, I have green and blue and I think one other color VMU, So, uh, but I did not have the original uh, off-white or gray, whatever color they call this, uh, so now I have this color VMU. Now we get into some actual game pickups. Um, I did pick up two loose Game Gear games, which I don't normally buy loose games, but these were $1.50 a piece at a local game store, and they were both in excellent condition. So I picked up Super Columns, and that sticker is just super pretty. A very nice cart. So for $1.50, I couldn't leave it behind. And then the other one I picked up for $1.50 is Desert Speed Trap starring Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote. Again, a very nice sticker. And a very nice looking cart. So I picked both of those up for cheap. And uh, continuing to add to the Game Gear collection. I just wish these could have been boxed. All right, then I do have uh, a few of the Lego Dimension um, sets uh, for the Wii U, and I've got a couple of the story packs, but um, I picked up a level pack uh, because this is one of my five favorite movies of all time. So I picked up the Goonies level pack for Lego Dimensions. Uh, this is brand new. It comes with the pieces to make One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship, sloth, and the skeleton organ. But of course, you can create different things. And of course, this uh, level pack unlocks a specific level that, um, well, obviously I don't know exactly what the level is because I have not opened any of my Lego dimensions, but 
I thought this packaging was really cool. I love Sloth, I love Goonies, and I had to add this to the uh, Dimensions collection. Then I picked up um, a ton of Atari Lynx games because I have to continue adding to my different libraries so I can continue to have different games to show you guys every Monday for handheld game of the week. So last week I jumped all in, or this week I jumped all in on the Atari Lynx and added a bunch of games. So, and these are all complete. The first one is Toki or Taki, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this box is uh, not perfect, but this is the worst one of all of them. Got a few creases, a couple little bends, but uh, so this is a platformer game where you are turned into uh, Toki or Taki, uh, which is an ape, and um, you have to defeat the wizard to free the princess. Uh, actually, I've seen some gameplay footage of this, and this is uh, looks like a really fun side-scrolling platformer. So, really happy to pick that up complete. Then I picked up Chips Challenge. And this is... Uh, a game where you have to go around finding computer chips, um... And basically, it's just puzzles to try to get to all of the different chips. Um, 144 levels or challenging puzzles, but I think each level is a puzzle. Um, and it doesn't look like it would be all that fun, but I have watched plenty of gameplay footage on this. And this game looks like it actually is uh, quite a bit of fun. It gets good reviews for the Lynx. And I am happy to own it because at some point down the road, you guys will be seeing this on a Monday night. All of these Lynx games, that is. Uh, then I picked up Robo Squash. So this is kind of like handball or super glove, uh, power glove ball or whatever for the uh, Nintendo where you throw a ball down a corridor and it bounces off. Uh, you're trying to hit these blocks and other things, and then as the ball bounces back to you, you have this little net that you move around to uh, bounce the ball back down the hallway. Uh, so if you guys ever had a power glove for the Nintendo and you had super power glove ball or whatever the name of that game was, this is basically the same thing but for the Lynx, and actually a really cool looking game. Uh, this is the one game I did have out of all of these, but my copy is sealed, and I don't open sealed games when they're uh, older. So I can now play a copy of Steel Talons. And this is a helicopter flying game where you are shooting at bad guys and whatnot. Always fun to play these kinds of games. Then the next game I picked up is uh, one of my favorite movie series of all time. And um, all I can say is that you guys should definitely be excellent to each other. Uh, and that is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I love the Bill and Ted movies, and this is actually better than the Nintendo version of this game. Um, so obviously, you are embarking on an adventure to save Elizabeth and Joanna, uh, who have been kidnapped by the Grim Reaper, um, which is totally bogus. So hopefully you can play this game, beat it, and be most triumphant, but... Uh, Really happy to pick that up, and I'm actually going to dig into this game here pretty soon. Then we have Crystal Mines 2. This is another puzzle type game. Uh, 
I have never played this, so I can't tell you exactly what it is, but um, you'll see it at some point down the road. But definitely uh, glad to have been able to add that one to the collection. Then we have Malibu Bikini Volleyball. What? What? Ooh. Check that out. <laughs> um, obviously, this one speaks for itself. Bikini Volleyball. Um, I don't know why, but these games were always fun to me. Uh, even when I was young and even now, I like cheesy games like this. I like volleyball games. Um, I don't... There's a lot of sports that I have no desire to watch on TV or even play in real life, but I like playing the game, so um, always been a little strange, but uh, happy to add that one to the collection. And then the last Game Gear, or uh, Atari Lynx game that I added is Rygar. Um, I was really, really excited to get this one, obviously again, complete in the box. Rygar was a game that I loved in the arcade, also had this on my original Nintendo when I was younger. And this is a side-scrolling platformer where you are Rygar and you have this like round shield thing on a chain that you can throw out as your weapon. Um, really awesome. And this is honestly a fantastic port for the Atari Lynx. So if you guys have a Lynx, you should definitely check this game out. It is way worth it. All right, then I did pick up one Sega 32X game, and that is Cosmic Carnage. This is also obviously complete in the box. And in pretty decent condition. So this is just a basic fighting game, um, eight levels, eight different people that you can choose from. It is very cheesy, but it's so cheesy that it's fun to play. Um, that might sound terrible. I don't know. The graphics are honestly really not that bad. Um, as you're fighting, the camera will scroll in and scroll out, which is something that they didn't do in a lot of games back in those days. Um, but this is honestly a pretty fun fighting game. Very minimal not a lot not a huge move set uh, or moves list for each character not a lot of you know there's only eight people and eight levels so not a lot to it but if you like good old cheese um and games that are just so bad they're good this would be right up your alley and it is unbelievable so yeah cosmic carnage then i did pick up one Sega Master System game, and that is Pro Wrestling. Um, this has got to be like the best cover art ever. Dude's headlocking himself, which uh, I find strangely hilarious. Um, so pretty minimal as far as the uh, artwork goes. Um, this box is actually in pretty decent condition. But this is a really cool wrestling game where uh, you have, it's a tag team game. So there's four different sets of tag team guys. You've got uh, two teams that are good guys and two teams that are considered the heels. Um, so if you pick a heel, you can only wrestle against the two good guy tag teams. And if you play a, tag, a good guy tag team, you can only wrestle against the heels. So you can't wrestle bad against bad. Um... And other than that, this is honestly a very fun wrestling game for the uh, system. Um, I got this for 8 bucks. Only problem is the manual is missing the first three pages, and it's a little rough. And then the cart has been loved. But uh, again, for 8 bucks, I had to add this to the collection, so... Uh, then I picked up another Virtual Boy game. This one is loose, but the uh, seller had it in a custom 3DS case. 
Uh, so this is obviously Galactic Pinball, and this is printed artwork, but uh, it was kind of cool to have this, but the rest of my Virtual Boy games are not in cases like this, so it doesn't really go. But there is the Galactic Pinball cartridge with the cover. Really nice shape, great sticker. I love the Virtual Boy games, excuse me. Um, but this is honestly a pretty cool case. If I could find more of these, I think I would be willing to uh, purchase them and have them on a shelf because uh, that actually doesn't look too bad. But really happy to pick up another Virtual Boy game. I uh, did pick up one PlayStation Vita game, and that is a sealed Asia Soft Conga Master. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It is a conga game. Uh, this one comes with a printed manual, certificate, and a soundtrack. Um, you have to uh, go into different environments um, solo while conga -ing and try to get other people to join your conga line. Um, actually, it looks like a pretty cute game. I've watched quite a bit of gameplay footage for it, uh, but this one will remain sealed, at least for now. But very happy to add that one. This one I got from Walmart for three cents, and that is a sealed PlayStation 3 Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. This comes with all of the DLC. And they had this at Walmart brand new for three cents. And it was the last copy, so I snatched it up. Then I got another game from Walmart. This one was also three cents. And that is Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition for the Xbox 360. This one is 3D compatible. And again, a brand new game from Walmart for three cents. So I bought both of these and it was six cents total and it was so cheap they didn't even add a penny of tax. So uh, two brand new games for <laughs> six pennies. So could not pass that up at all. This game is fantastic and I'm happy to own a sealed copy. Then I did pick up another Wii U title that I'm um, trying to slowly uh, complete a North American set. And this one is Fast and Furious Showdown. Um, obviously one that I needed. This is based off of Fast and the Furious 6. Uh, loosely. It does not actually follow the movie. It's kind of just convolutedly takes all of the movies, mashes them all together, and tries to tie them all in with one kind of generic story. Um, and I've heard this game's not all that great, but I need it for the collection, and I'm sure I can find some enjoyment out of it. But obviously this one is complete, and happy to add that. Uh, another game I picked up, I actually need to get um, a replacement case for this one because it's a little beat up. This was a game I had when it originally came out and I played the crap out of it. Uh, I was actually ranked in the top 30 in the world um, on multiplayer at the time and that is John Woo's Stranglehold. And this is the collector's edition. The plastic is kind of beat up and stuff right there so I will get a replacement case for this one. But this is a game I absolutely loved when it originally came out. It is a third person shoot 'em up. And when I say shoot 'em up, I mean shoot up the whole damn place while doing slow motion jump tricks like uh, Max Payne and just very stylized um, third person shoot 'em up, beat 'em up. Just a, a fantastic game. Uh, absolutely love this game. Um, and this one is complete. I just need to uh, get it a prettier case. 
And I did pick up one GameCube game. Unfortunately, it is not complete. It is missing the manual. I have already been trying to find it, and I cannot find one anywhere. So hopefully down the road I will. And that is Star Wars Bounty Hunter for the Nintendo GameCube, where you obviously play as Jango Fett. Uh, another third-person style game where you are using your blasters, your jetpack, your uh, whipcord, all kinds of stuff like that. And um, you are trying to uh, rid the universe of scum. So um, I have not played this yet. I am seriously looking forward to checking this out. But I love Star Wars. I am seriously loving The Mandalorian. And it really made me want to go out and buy this game. And instead of buying the PS2 version, which was a little bit cheaper, I wanted to continue to add to the GameCube collection. So uh, I might try and find a replacement case for this one too. This plastic just gets so dingy over time and scratched up. But um, really, really happy to add that one. Then I did pick up one Sega Saturn game, and that is Loaded. Uh, so this is an awesome top-down, uh, twin-stick style-ish shooter. Um, you can choose one of six characters you are trying to break out of prison. And as you can see, it's more of a, it's not straight down, um, slightly at an angle, almost an isometric view. Um, but you, each character has a different weapon, different armor. Uh, their speeds and stuff can, um, vary depending on each character. And, um, so you choose the character and you're trying to break out of prison. Uh, there's multiple levels. You actually do get out of prison. Um, and it is just super gory, a ton of action, uh, explosions everywhere, um, very, very cool game. Um, not a whole lot of games like this on the Saturn. Uh, these are your six characters that you can choose from. They are all slightly goofy looking. Um, you can see how some have less armor than others. Um, very, very fun game. Very cool. Highly recommend this. If you have a Sega Saturn, check it out. It's a, it, it is a really very, uh, very cool game. All right, then my last item um, I actually got from my good friend 8-Bit Glitch. So, Sean, thank you again for selling this to me. Um, he actually sent me this as a bonus in the box, and this is a package of G.I. Joe uh, trading cards from 91, I believe. Uh, yeah, 1991 Hasbro G.I. Joe cards, so... Uh, very awesome. Still sealed in the package. So thank you, Sean, for that. And here is what Sean was gracious enough to sell me and allow me to add to my collection. And that is the Bronze DSi XL. Uh, now this is complete in the box except for this pen here, um, but it has everything else. Well, I went online and found that pin, and it's on its way here, so I can complete this. But let me just show you the condition of this unit. And it's got all the paperwork, the charger, the inserts, and everything. And here is the unit. So the top is a little scuffed, but that's to be expected. My other DSIs are slightly scuffed on the top too. But other than that, it is in beautiful shape. Um, I just got done cleaning this a little bit ago. And she's really nice looking. She does have the thin stylus. It was just missing the fat boy stylus, which like I said, I do have on the way. But you can see the bottom is very nice shape. The only problem with these tops that they put on some of these DS units are even if you put a, a protective sleeve or case over it 
the damn protective case ended up scratching the top of the unit anyway. Um, I have two of them that had protective things over them. When I took them off, because uh, I don't really like the way those those look on my handhelds, they, were, they left scratches from the protective unit. So these are really hard to keep perfect, but the inside is tic-tac. It's got one little mark on the screen that I just cannot seem to remove, um, but that is quite all right. <sighs> I still need to do a little bit of cleaning in here with some smaller tools, but this had like a screen protector on the top screen. I don't know why. I don't think Sean put it on there, but it, it only covered the middle, the center of the top screen, which isn't even the touch screen. This is the touch screen, so I removed that and thoroughly cleaned underneath that. And I am very happy with this. It's in very nice shape. Um, definitely glad to add the bronze DSi XL to my collection. I am honored to own a piece of 8-Bit Glitches collection and give it a good home. So again, Sean, thank you for hooking me up with this. So I am filming this on uh, Thursday night. So there is a chance when I come home tomorrow that I might have one or two more pieces to add to this pickups video. But this... is my pickups or these are my pickups for this past week guys all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this week's pickups if you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel think about hitting that subscribe button for me guys and give me a big thumbs up that really helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction and if you are a fan of content like this um come back every monday for my handheld uh game of the week um series every friday i do either a pickups video or a collection video um i'm thinking next friday i'm probably going to do a collection video because i haven't done one in a while and then every other wednesday i do a home hell gaming series where i play the uh, genesis nomad or the turbo express or my Superboy, which i need to get a stand for um actually i need to get on that um, and uh, play them on their respective handhelds. So um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the love and the comments. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, until Monday, have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves and keep gaming.